hello everyone welcome back to my channel i am shusham and today we are going to be having an exciting topic uh, which is called free nas and it's uh, everyone in, is using the nas system in the office there are a lot of nas are there as like qnap synology so i mostly i like qnap if you are going to, if you going to ask me which nas is the best but obviously if you want to looking for the open source nas then free nas is a very good thing and you can you can create user you can create the folder as per user you can give the access to the folder also and you can mount this folder into your windows or the linux system but before we are going to start the, the the whole topic how to install it and how to use that one uh if you are new here don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you never miss out on the future tutorials and the tips all right let's jump into it so let me explain a little bit about the nas nas is a network attached storage is a file level computer data storage server connected to the computer network providing the data access to uh, the group of the clients so now you guys we are going to install this nas um, i have my cloud server so i'm going to uh, i have already mounted the iso you have to download the iso and then you have you can put in your pen drive or the cd or dvd and then you can mount it let me show you how to do the installation four options are there installation or upgrade and shell and reboot the system and the shut down the system so let's continue let me put the password So now you can check installation finished, no error report already activated, and you can see the password has set. The free NAS installation on the, the this is the hard disk actually showing. Please reboot and remove the installation media. Let's let's do it. So as you can see, my uh, free NAS is booting up after the installation. Now it's asking for the the configuration, the network interface. Or the VLAN if you have or there is a default route also you have to provide and these are the information where you can set up the IP address DNS and uh, obviously the root password you can change it okay. after doing my uh, IP address and everything set up then I just put my domain and redirect to that IP and then I am putting my address here Actually, this free NAS always recommend uh, you for the 8 GB RAM, and you can check here. Uh, see, the recommendation is 64 bit CPU, 8 GB RAM, and 16 GB boot drive. Okay, so even I'm just for the training video, I am using only 2 GB of RAM, I think. Uh, so, this is the thing, let me check. Uh, yes, I have 2 GB RAM and 50 GB SSD is there. So, okay, so let me uh, let me put uh, the time so let's leave it to the same okay let's exist after the exit you can check the user group he is here if the user is here So here you can check the, the user settings that I have already showed you and the groups. Here is the volumes. Uh, check the go to the storage. Then you can uh, view the disk. You can this is my disk actually. Okay, now go to the sharing. You can check the sharings also there. The Windows SM protocols and nfs for the for the linux system or the unix here is the shell is also there 
so you can put the comments if you need to you know check anything so this is the thing I can check the, the CPU memory and what is the utilization of the system uh, let me close it so I think this uh, this this all uh, for the installation basic things and you you will get the, the wizard also if you want to you know click by clicking you do, you want to do the first setups and obviously there, there, there will be the next video where we, I, we are going to put the how to create the folders how to create the access level and it's a very easy if you have already installed it that's a very easy thing to you know handle thank you for watching my video I hope you like it